Today we are connecting the mini split to the solar panels. A lot of you have been asking about it and today we're going to get started and I'm going to walk you through the whole thing and it's going to be super simple. Let's get started. This is everything that you're going to need. Well, you're also going to need the mini split, but that's behind us and that's kind of obvious. We're going to need some wire and we're going to need the panels, of course, and we're going to need some strippers. We're going to need a crimper. We're going to you don't have to have this it's a nice to have or the mc4 connections and we're going to need the mc4 connectors that come with the unit that's a male and a female and then we're going to need one more to go on the other end and of course you're going to need a voltmeter to test and make sure that you're not over voltage on your panels and the last thing you're going to need is a pv array dc isolator this allows you to turn the entire array on or off and it provides an actual DC disconnect. One thing to point out real quick is if you've got this unit, you would almost think that this one would come through to this one, but if you're connecting the wire in right here, you're actually gonna go back over to this one here. It's, um, it's kind of like this. But read your instructions, make sure that you do it right. I've also got some watertight connections down here that the PV is gonna go into. I decided not to go out the top, but rather I'm gonna come in here and then I'm gonna come out here and probably loop back around here. I'm not an electrician. I don't know if that's up to code, but that's how I'm gonna do it because I figured let's have the water uh, connections on the top and keep it watertight up here. You might be wondering, why do I have my panels on a trailer instead of a ground mount? Great question. I'm going to, at some point, be building a deck right here. Well, the deck is gonna go right here and the solar panels are gonna go above it. But for now, I'm temporarily trying this out because you guys have been asking about it and I want to show you how to do this. So we're gonna put these right here and then eventually I'll build a temporary ground mount over here for them because this gets full sun. And then one day we're gonna have a beautiful deck with an amazing porch covering it and we'll be good to go. Now these are really old solar panels and so I bought these for like 20 bucks a piece and I'll actually put a link for Santan Solar in the description down here. They are awesome if you're looking for used solar panels in bulk. Basically, you're gonna pay more for freight and shipping than you are for the panels themselves. But what I've got is the panels start right here. They're connected one to another, which is in series. They're connected, this one goes all the way, connects to this one, connects to that one, connects to that one, and back around over here. And once we've done that, then this is where we're going to connect. This is this far panel. And this one here is this panel. So once you've got them connected together, then the next thing we need to do is measure how much voltage we have going into each of these. We've got the voltmeter turned on to volts DC. And I'm gonna set this down for a moment and I'm gonna plug this one in here. And you wanna be careful because as you plug this in onto one side, you will get the voltage out the other side. So this guy's plugged in here and this one I'm going to connect in here and you can see there's a little barrel in here that you're gonna plug that into and connect it. And as we do this, we're seeing we're at 117, 117 volts. Now we're gonna plug our black wire into the negative, red wire into the positive and well, that doesn't work. So let's find the other side of it. Plug that in right there. Now we've got our two ends and let's go up to the unit. So we've got our positive coming in and coming back out here. We've got the cap back on, securely screwed in. It's turned off. The next thing we're gonna do is connect our negative and our positive. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. It is kind of cloudy right now. So I'm only seeing 300 watt. There's a cloud right on top of us. So right now we're show, oh, there we go. Now we're getting some partial sun, seeing 600 watts. Hey, that's pretty cool. We'll continue to monitor it and see what we come up with. But yeah, it's as simple as that. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven solar panels. I could add more. And if, if we were to buy new solar panels that were, you know, like 500 or 420 watts or something like that, we would use a lot less. Each of these are only putting out a little over 100 watts each just because of their age. Don't be fooled at how much room this actually takes. Spend a little extra money, get some nicer panels, and you won't take up this much space. But right now I'm seeing 800 watts coming through on this, so that's pretty cool. If you're interested in buying one of these units, check out my link below, and you can get 50 bucks off if you use my discount code. It's in the description as well. 
It couldn't be any easier to actually connect solar panels to this unit. It's literally just plug and play. Click, 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 click it in there again, and you're done. I hope you found this useful, and I hope it's encouraging to you. Check out this video right here if you want to see the installation of this unit. If not, check out this video right here. YouTube thinks it's best for you. We'll see you on one of these.